Lorenzo Cantin's MTG Box Tower that I patented for this special video. Now I just wanted to um, show you the second deck box. I'm going to take out all the cards here. Okay, it's the paper. Here we got a whole lot of cards that we have to, to go through. All right, let's brace up and let's do this again. Here we go, the second lot. So here we start with a bunch of cards, which I'm going to show here on... Okay, let me zoom a little bit out here, like this. Okay, I'm going to place them here. These are the uh, monuments, monument cards for Magic the Gathering. Here we got the first two. Um, this is Ojutai Monument. This is Atarka Monument. Then here we got other two monument cards. I bought all of them, you see. This is Kolagan and this is Dromoka. Let's see if I can also place here the third one. Let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. Here we got Kolagan, Dromoka, and Silumgar. Okay, these were our three monument cards, well, three, five monument cards in total, okay? We just took a look at five monument cards. Then we've got a whole bunch here. I see a whole bunch of wolf creatures. I'm going to place them here, just like I did with the monuments, so that we're going to take a look at all of them all at once. So here we got, on the left, we've got Con Conduit of Storms, which turns into... Ba -ba -bam, Conduit of Emrakul, an Eldrazi werewolf. Hinterland Hermit, which turns into Hinterland Scourge. And on the right, we've got Afflicted Deserter, which becomes... Werewolf Runsucker. Nice. Let's remove these three cards because I got a, another couple of werewolves that I have to show you. Okay, here we've got Kessig Forge Master and this Breakneck Rider. Kessig Forge, Forge Master, sorry, turns into Flameheart Werewolf and our break, Breakneck Rider turns into Neckbreaker. Okay. You see werewolves. Pretty cool, huh? Like them. Alright, let me reposition. Enchantment Saga from Dominaria. Then here we've got a pretty cool card. This is Bayard. Steward of Argive. With Vigilance, creatures can attack you or planeswalker, planeswalker you control, unless their controller pays one for each of those creatures. Okay, it's got a pretty nice protective effect. Here we've got Tilonali's Skin Shifter, for free mana, Human Shaman. This is a very nice card because every time this card attacks, it can become a copy of another target, no legendary creature that is also attacking until the end of turn. So it's pretty much like a bonus card that you can use to copy a card that you've got on the battlefield. Take a look at this dragon. This dragon is pretty fierce, pretty powerful. I really like it. And the art is quite uh, quite nice. And I really like that. You see the dragon there blasting the fire out of its mouth from its throat and just burning all, the, all those warriors of those soldiers, and you see there the power of dragons in, fi in, a, in a fight, in a battle. They, they, I think they definitely come in handy, right? Don't they? Okay, here we've got a storm. A storm of stars. These stars just coming down from the sky, they're dropping from the sky and crashing everything, like um, a meteor shower. From the, the movie Smallville, from not the movie, the TV series Smallville, the meteor shower. 
Yes, nice. You see, so I've got some references here. We make some references with other series. Here we've got War Leaders Helix. It's an instant. This is not a creature. Deals 4 damage to any target and you gain 4 life. Okay. Pretty okay. Alright, this is a pretty popular card. This is Whip a Blade Vindicator. Pretty popular card. This one. Just 2 mana, red and a white. Swift Blade Vindicator. Double Strike, Vigilance and Trample. It's got pretty much the whole package. Here we have Sigardus Vanguard. Really like this card. This is really powerful. This is a very powerful angel. It's got Flesh, so you can summon this card during the opponent's uh, turn. It's got Flying, and when this card enters the battlefield or attacks, you can choose any number of creatures with different powers than uh, this card. Um, those creatures gain double strike until end of turn. So it's a very nice card. Because with this card, you can just, you know, on your turn, you can attack and can deal uh, a whole lot of damage. Here we got another very powerful instant card. This is a red card, Demon Bolt. It's an instant. You can foretell this card on your turn, then you can cast it for a cheaper price. It deals 4 damage uh, to a target creature or a planeswalker. It's pretty much like a copy of. Uh, Thundering Strike, but more powerful because this card is an instant and that, that other card is actually just a sorcery. Okay, check out this other red spell. This is also pretty powerful. Crush the Weak, it's a sorcery. This is pretty much like a board wipe, but you can destroy only creature uh, that have like one or two uh, toughness because this card deals two damage to all the creatures on the battlefield. And those creatures that will get Destroyed are exiled instead. You can foretell this card also for two uh, colorless mana and you can cast it later on for just one red mana. It's a very nice card. Alright, here we've got Hero of the Nyxborn, another ancient Greek mythology card. This is a human soldier, it looks like a, a, a Noplite from Sparta and, or from Athens, I don't don't really know um, the difference between the two. It's got the, a Pegasus right there on a shield. Pretty cool. And when this card enters the battlefield, you get to create a token, which is a 1-1 one, one white human soldier. Alright. Check out this card. This is pretty cool. This is Bruinor, Battle Hammer. Really like it. It's got an axe, a shield right there, a broken horn right on its helmet. Pretty cool. Oh, check out this card. This is even cooler. I really like this card here. Burn down the house. What a nice card. Check out that house. It's burning down completely. Fire everywhere. And these devil's creatures. This this one looks like a gargoyle. This is not like a. I don't think it's actually a real devil, but it might be. You see, there's also another devil right there, and there's a third devil down here, and this house is just burning down. And it's so cool. The effect is terrific, tremendously powerful. Really like this card. Now here we got another interesting pirate creature. I would like to play this card with the goblin pirate that we saw before. Uh, the name was Breaches. Uh, I could make a nice deck uh, by playing that card in a deck with this. Uh, maybe I should. Uh, maybe I could play Karizev as the commander or the other card as the commander. I don't know. Maybe I could just throw these two cards into the deck. I uh, don't really know. This card is pretty cool. Every time this card attacks, you can create a um, legendary 2-1 red monkey creature token. And basically you can summon the monkey that you see it's perched right there on this young lady's shoulder. And then you're going to exile that token at the end of combat. Pretty cool. Very cheap to cast, just 2 mana. But I think that with the right cards, this card can actually be... Uh, a nice card and pretty powerful and you can make a nice combo out of this effect. Card Zeth. Okay, here we've got Rakamar. Alright. Then moving on, we've got this interesting sorcery, Sink into Takenuma. Takenuma, yes. Um, I just bought this card for the artwork, essentially. 
here we've got this other card here. This is Spirit Manga. Pretty cool. Okay. Check out the, uh, the uh, power and toughness right there. Six and six. That's a lot. Here we got this instant, Empty the Pits. This is a mythic card. I bought this card for uh, my zombie uh, deck or, you know, for a future zombie deck. And I think this card is pretty, pretty cool. It could be, um, you know, the card that you use to, to end the duel pretty much. Put a number of two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield tap. And X is just the number basically limited to how many lands you've got to spend, essentially. So it's a very nice card. You can summon a bunch of zombie tokens onto the battlefield and you can just try and win the game that way. Here we've got this artifact, the Kidment, a rare card, Live Wire Lash. Pretty cool artwork right there. Then we've got this Board Wipe for 7 mana. Four white and three, uh, no, four colorless and three uh, white. Destroy all creatures and planes walkers. Fated retribution. Then this got we've got this uh, double sided card. This is Arguel's Blood Fast, which turns into ba -ba -bam, Temple of Akladzots. You see that we've got this this uh, man with um. A streak of blood, a pretty massive streak of blood right there. It looks like he's just entered uh, a temple, an ancient temple from from the Azteki, Aztecas. I don't, I don't know how to call that. That people in English, but he, I guess the thing is right there, Mexico, that part of the world. Here we got Ovia Pashiri Sage Life Crafter. It's a human artif artificer for just one green mana so you can get uh, cheaper than that and it got a pretty cool effect you can create a bunch of tokens right there nice card okay here we've got another interesting legendary creature this is Stang pretty fearsome right and looks like um, a proud warrior right there he's not even wearing his helmet just the armor right there just the armor Showing that he's, uh, he's got no hair. Pretty funny. Okay, here we've got this Shadow Mage Infiltrator. This is pretty much like a copy of the Stowaway uh, Wolf. Something like that. That should be the name. Because you see, every time this card deals damage to a player, you, go, uh, you get to draw a card. That other card is actually a little bit more powerful because uh, it says that every time you attack, you get to draw a card and also that card is unblockable uh, but pretty much here we, you see we got we are talking about like the same effects overall because you you see this also this card has got fear so this creature cannot be blocked uh, except by artifact or black creatures so yes just like i said before pretty much the same card it's a copy i don't really get why wizards of the coast they put out cards which are essentially just like same cards but with different names i don't really understand why they do that here we got this legendary creature a jinn zahid jinn of the lamp which comes uh, i think from disney's aladdin right that is like the the genie's lamp uh it seems like um you know a card that, that has been uh, taken directly from their animated movie from aladdin one of my favorite movies from Disney, anyway. I like all of them. Kazarov, Sangir Pure Blood. This card calls to my mind Westgate Regent, which is a new vampire creature which uh, came out from, um, I don't remember if Midnight Hunt or Dungeons and Dragons, I, I don't remember. Uh, well, maybe Dungeons and Dragons. And Sangir Pure Blood here, this Kazarov, looks just as uh, fearsome and. Um, Powerful as Westgate Regent, but the effect is a, is quite different. Um, this, this card is also pretty nice. The artwork is really really nice. And you got the moon there. You see, always the moon. There's always the moon. Okay, here we got this card. It's in Italian. Just going to skip forward. 
Here we got Entomber Exarch with 4 mana, 4-4 four, four mana, 2 colors, 2 black, 2-2, two, two, it's a cleric. Okay, uh, you can return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, or target opponent reveals a card, uh, reveals his hand, you choose a, cre a card that is not a creature, and then you discard it. So it's a pretty versatile card, you can use it in a, in a deck for these two different effects, and you can use it both in a discard deck, or uh, just to uh, call cards from the graveyard to your hand, basically. Okay, it's a good, it's a good card, it's a, an uncommon card. Here we've got this interesting angel creature. This is uh, Victory's Envoy, probably. That should be the name in English. Uh, I don't really know this set. It's 2017. What, what's this symbol right here? don't know. Four power, four toughness. Pretty high cost right there. Uh, total of six mana. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to check this card out as well. Here we've got this Shadow Storm. Vizier, Human Cleric, okay, up next we've got this so instant right here, Winds of Rebuke, Winds of Rebuke, okay, oh, this is a nice card, Borboric Moss, it's a legendary creature, it's a Cyclops, and the Cost the mana cost is actually pretty high. You see right there, three colorless, two red, two green, and the stats are okay. Six power, seven toughness. That's okay. It seems like a card that is uh, pretty rare that many players want to add to their collection. I don't really get why I bought it because the art is cool. Okay, here we've got another interesting spell. This is Invoke the Far Mind. This is a very powerful card. I think I also bought this card for for some money. This was a bit costly. I don't remember the exact price, but you know I'm going you're going to see it as I place it here on screen. Nivix uh, oh the, the name is in Italian unfortunately. It's just a land, uncommon land. I bought it because the art is cool. Also, this card has got a pretty cool artwork. Punish. One white, one black. It's a sorcery. Um, the opponent has to reveal his hand. You, uh, pick a, uh, you choose a card that is not a land, and you exile that card from the game. Pretty simple, but also pretty cheap. Just two mana. Check out this card. This card is gorgeous. Take a look at this card. This is Raktos, the Definer. What a cool card. Flying Trample with a very powerful destructive effect. When this card enters the battlefield, you just pretty much like destroy. When when uh, it attacks, not when it enters the battlefield. When it attacks, you can pretty much destroy like all the creatures on the battlefield. Something like that. Very powerful card. I spent a bit, a little bit of money here for this card, but this card was definitely worth it. Check out the artwork also. Amazing, amazing card. Okay, here we got. Andrexar, again the name is in Italian, this card has got to do with Thrall creatures, okay, don't really know what Thrall really are all about. Arvad the Cursed, this is a pretty interesting vampire knight, I think that when you combine knights with vampires, you get a very nice, you know, very nice creature. Vampire is cool, knight is really cool. Together, they make for a very special creature. And I would like to see more vampire knights out there in Magic the Gathering. And unfortunately, there are just a there is just a few of these cards, of these cards, of these types of, of creatures in the game. Uh, I would like to, to have more cards like this one. Because this one is really cool, you see. Just don't understand why there aren't these many um, vampire knight creatures, uh, vampire knight creatures out there. I just don't get it why they don't make more of those creatures. Here we got CDZ. This is a cool commander. I bought this card just for you know for a future deck in which I I may be able to use this card as a commander. This is a nice commander. It's a legendary creature. Don't really remember the effect now. I don't want to check it out because it's in Italian. I don't want to drag this video on too long. Here we got Carol Leak Lord. This is a zombie wizard, another zombie wizard, and 
zombie and wizard, but is also a very cool combination. Carolic Lord. Here we got this goblin, goblin rogue. Okay. Here we've got High Feather Avon. All right. Tygum's Scheming. Okay. Look at the top five cards of your library, put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest back on top of your library in any order. Okay, just two mana. Here we got Bearer of Overwhelming Truth, which turns into... Ba -ba -bam. Daring... Oh, sorry, no, this is actually the front side. Daring Sleuth, which turns into... This very cool card, which is Bearer of Overwhelming Truth. Pretty cool. Here we got another card, which is double-sided. Here we got an, um, this, I don't remember the title. Geist something, Geist something. It turns into Unstoppable Intruder, maybe. Or it was Unimpeded, maybe Unimpeded Intruder, something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Um, pretty cool card. This card essentially cannot be blocked, and it's got free power, free toughness, so it's quite powerful. Free easy damage to the opponent. Here we've got Gust, Gut Stuff Arsonist, which turns, it's a werewolf, it turns into Gut Stuff Ravagers. Uh, ra Sorry, I wasn't able to see the name right there. With Menace. Six power, five toughness. Wow, what's the the cost of this card, fine. Okay. Pretty okay. We got another card here. This is Guafa Hazi. Um again the, the card is in Italian, unfortunately. Got a bunch of cards here that are in Italian. We can really talk about them. Assassin Strike. Okay. Destroy target creature, its controller discards a card. Hmm. Alright, this, this card is pretty cool. Because it's two in one. Because it's two in one. This is a Renegade Demon. Just bought this card for the art, essentially. You see five mana right there, five power, three toughness. It's actually pretty weak, but the art is actually pretty nice. Actually, actually. This is Bolt. Inflict 3 damage to a, a target player, or 4 damage to a creature with flying. Alright, pretty standard. Nothing too exciting. Here we've got um, Arch... What, what's the name of this one? Arch... Arch Count? Archduke? Archduke, maybe. Of the Triumvirate. Creature. Hmm. Alright, pretty cool. Here we got this other card. This is Noyandar, Roll Shaper. This card is very nice. The effect is really powerful. It's got full power, full toughness. You can see right there, five mana, three colorless, one white, one blue. This card is really nice. And the artwork is pretty good, but the effect is it's even better. Here we got this very nice sorcery. Um, I don't know the name in English, Worm, um, but I, I don't know, <laughs> Summon, Worm Summon, maybe. And we, what's really cool about this card is that you can use it to summon a creature, a Worm creature, and which has power and toughness based on the number of lands that you use to cast this spell. And then you can pay also these uh, buyback cost, and you can, by paying that, you can just have this card come back to your hand so that you can cast it again on your turn or on your subsequent turn. So it's a very cool card that is actually reusable. Here we got Blade Wing the Reason. This is a legendary creature, it's a zombie dragon. Hmm, okay. Okay, up next we've got 
this amalgam, awaken amalgam. I think that is the name in English. Okay. Here we got another dragon. This is Rorix Blade Wing. I think I should have placed all these dragons together, but you know, I'm following here the order uh, of the creatures as they come out from the, you know, as they were placed in the deck box. This is Rorix Blade Wing. Cool, I think it would be nicer to look at them, you know, um, together. Maybe I'll do that in the next unbox, you know, sort out the cards and just take a look at the cards in groups, you know. Also, the next unboxing that we're going to do, that's also going to be about another package from Marcus, the same seller. Havoc Demon. Okay. Here we got a pack of wolves right there. This is Assembled Alphas. Pretty cool. Here we got this nice card, Long Road Home. Okay, pretty nice. Okay, up next we've got this card, which is really cool. This is Mephitic Ooze. It's a rare creature with zero power, five toughness, and whenever this card deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. And that creature can be generated, regenerated. It gets plus one plus zero for each artifact that you control. So this card is definitely a must play in a very powerful and very cool artifact deck. Ooh, check out this card. This is very nice card. This is in Italian. Don't know the name. I'm gonna place the name here on screen as well as the price. This is Lortos. The Tide Mover? I don't know. That's the literal translation from Italian. Pretty cool. Here we've got this Marang River Skeleton. I really like Marang River. That's like my favorite location in Magic the Gathering, I don't know. Um, because I, I remember when I uh, tried to impersonate Marang River Prowler, which is also another card from uh, Magic the Gathering, which comes from this same location, from Marang River. So I said, why not buy uh, Marang River Skeleton just to complete the set and um, you can find on my channel you can find the video that I made in which I I try to you know uh, dress up as Marang River Prowler that was a lot of fun I had very long hair <laughs> I remember I had very long hair all right this is a very interesting card you see you got the head of a what's this that like a uh, human probably and you got this uh, creature which is all black, covered by a hoodie. Okay. Next up, we've got this sorcery. Okay, you can return target card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Alright. Pretty straightforward. We've got this health. It's a health warrior. And you can use this card to summon a, a wolf creature token with true power, true toughness. And you can do that uh, multiple times, apparently. Here we've got Wolf Briar Elemental for mana. This is a very good card for a wolf deck. That's a lot. Here we've got this spell, this instant, double... Um, Bolt, maybe? I don't know. Hope it's correct. We've got this knife here. Artifact equipment. Rubinia Soul Singer. This is a very nice card. It's a legendary creature. Maybe uh, also a nice commander for a nice commander deck. Here we've got a troll, pretty old card. This comes from 2013, pretty old. Just four mana anyway. Okay, uh, there's not much that I can see about this card. You don't even know how to translate the name. Fatal Frenzy for three mana. This card is pretty similar to the card that we saw before. This is also an elf. This is an elf shaman. 
and it's got to do with wolf creature tokens that you can summon on the battlefield. Check out this card. This card is amazing. I spent a lot of money to buy this card, I think. At least a euro, something like that. Call from the Grave, that should be the name. Pretty cool. An enchantment. A rare enchantment. Here we got Nibelis, Nobilis of War. Okay, you see we are um, running a bit faster here. Orbs of War, then. Pretty cool. The art here is really nice. Sorry, but I had to pause the uh, video uh, because I had to recharge the camera. It seems the camera is running out of power, so we have to hurry through these uh, final cards, these few remaining cards. Uh, you got my promise for next video, I'll try to speed things up even more. And basically what we're going to do for the next video, we are just going to uh, look at the cards in, um, you know, in groups. All right, now real quick, let's take a look at the uh, final cards. Here we got Invocation of Saint uh, Traft. I uh, just want to say that there's a card that has just come out from the newest set, I think Crimson Vow or Midnight Hunt. There's a new card which is just um, like this card here. It's got the same effect. It's also an enchantment. I think it's a, a double-sided card. So again, I don't really understand why Wizards of the Coast keep putting out cards that, that have already come out with the same effect and also like the same theme and the same illustration. I don't really understand why they do that. So this card is pretty cool, very powerful. Here we've got this other very powerful creature. This is Zurgo, uh, Hel Helmet Breaker, something like that. This is a very powerful legendary creature. It should uh, work as a very nice commander for one of my future decks. Check out this card here. This card is just amazing. Sorry, but I'm, playing, I'm placing this card a bit off-center. Uh, okay, so this card is Stoic Angel. What should I say about this card? This card is just great. It's amazing. The artwork is super, super cool. Look at that. It's also pretty inexpensive. Okay, it requires three different types of, of mana, but uh, three different colors, but the card is just, at least the art is great. The art is just amazing. Really cool. Very nice card. Then here we've got another ancient Greece card. This is Anax and Saimi, and pretty cool card. It looks like uh, a card that has been taken from Spartacus, the TV series. Did you watch Spartacus? It looks like this is the, the owner of Spartacus, the owner of the arena. This is uh, her, uh, his wife. I really like Spartacus. Very nice TV series from the BB, uh, BBC, I think it was made. No, if it wasn't made in the UK, I guess it was made in the UK, maybe in Australia, don't remember. I think in the UK from the BBC, but I uh, have to double check on that. Okay, here we've got Droxkull Cavalry, Spirit Knight for power for toughness. All right, let's try to run through these final cards here. Here we've got this foil card, I don't know the title in English, unfortunately. I'm sure it's pretty powerful. A Leviathan here. This is a pretty cool card. This is really nice. Really cool. And the next card is also pretty cool. Here we've got Eldest, the Eldest Reborn. This is an enchantment saga. Uh, pretty cool. I know that this card is a fan favorite of many players out there. Uh, I have to play it before I understand uh, if I really like it. There is Somberwold Alpha, another wolf card for pretty cool wolf deck. Yeah, you see, I should have been like this since the beginning, a lot faster. Uh, all right, this is Gemini um, Engine, that should be the name for uh, this card in English. Uh, pretty cool artifact creature. All right, we got uh, here this Butcher Ghoul, that should be the name in English again, another Italian card. Uh, this is a um, pretty nice zombie. Okay, here we've got another um, artifact creature, like Sun Crasher, maybe, something like that. Okay. 
here we've got um, Nelf, Voice of the Wood, uh, or Voice of the Woods, I don't know. Pretty cool. Old style, that, that was a pretty old card. Here we've got very nice card, this is Groon, the Lonely King, this is a giant ape warrior. Very cool, with Kicker, 5 power, 5 toughness, 6 mana, 4 colors, 2, green, ape warrior. Pretty cool. Leonine Armor Guard. Armor Guard. Cat Soldier. Wow. Nice card. Alright, this card is not really in a in a very good condition. It's a bit torn on the sides right there. But it's a Phoenix and I don't know how much I paid for this card. I think it cost me some money. But it's a very nice card. See there, there's a Phoenix. Uh, which has just come back alive from its ashes and it is made of these hot material, the magma beautiful card, beautiful alright, this is an artifact an equipment, artifact, artifact equipment card uh, for 3 mana, you can keep it for 2 the creature gets plus 2 plus 4 and loses flying. Ooh, okay. Then we've got these resuscitate, maybe, or resurrect. This is another pretty cool card for a wolf deck. The name, unfortunately, is for, again in Italian, just like this card here, again another Italian card. This is a rare creature. Okay, an ally. And one power three toughness. Tap this card, you can draw a card for each ally that you control. Okay. Here we got this Azuris Brigade. Uh, okay, a creature for a uh, four mana with four power four toughness. And every creature gets plus four plus four and a trample as long as you control three or more artifacts. So a little bit of synergy there. Artifacts and artifact creatures. Here we've got this card. It's in English, it's in Italian, sorry. AIDS Sentry, maybe something like that. Triad of Fates with three different effects. You see, there are three creatures there in the illustration, three different effects, pretty unique. You can tap them, pay different uh, colors of mana to activate each one of those effects. You can activate only one during your turn or during your opponent's turn, depending on the color of mana that you decide to spend. Here we've got this Worm, pretty powerful card. This is an enchant menorah. The creature that has been enchanted with this card gets plus six, plus six, and that's a lot. And you can also sacrifice this card and you can create a 6-6 a six, six warm green creature token. And it's a very nice card. This is a very nice card. Okay, here we've got this advanced stitch wing. It's a zombie flying, flying zombie horror creature with 3 power 4 toughness. Then we've got this skeleton, vampire skeleton. This is a pretty popular card, I really like it. And you can summon black bat creature tokens on the battlefield with flying. And you just have to pay uh, some mana there, some black mana to summon them. Alright. Then let's take a look here at the few cards that are, uh, are left. Here we got this card that is in Italian. Liliana uh, Chosen Guard, maybe. Liliana Chosen Guard, that should be the name. Here we've got a couple of cards. These are the last two cards that can be uh, transformed. This is Civilized Scholar, which transforms into Homicidal Brute. And the last card is this one here, Soul Caesar. Pretty dark card, very, very dark, which turns into Ghastly Haunting. And this is the final card for this set. Very nice effect, you control the enchanted creature. Pretty cool. Pretty, 
pretty good, pretty cool. Okay, so this is everything, everybody. Again, I am sorry for the length of this video. We are going to have to work on this, and here we are improving every new video that we put out. We are always getting a little bit better. You see, I have come up with this new creation. Let me take here, let me move this camera a bit farther away from the table so that you can get a better look at this beauty. See right there, that is the beautiful MTG box tower with my logo right there on this part of the tower that I have called the slider because here I just take the card and I slide it in right like this like you have seen for all these cards. I hope you enjoyed this video overall. You see there we've got all the cards that now I have to sort out and put into my binder and there's still a lot that we have to take a look at. Let me remove this fox tower. Let me show you here all the packages that we still have to unbox. You see all that? We still have a lot here that we have to unbox. There's one package more from Marcus, then there's that big package there from Edicola Lettori, two packages from uh, Arcana Trieste, that big, 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 big massive box from Shadwell, and this smaller package here from uh, Dracaris Viterbo. So there's still a long way to go. Okay, thank you everybody for watching, bye bye.